In this video, I'm going to create a Ethereum account. So why do you need an Ethereum account? So when you say node, node is also one of the Ethereum account. So what we are trying to do is that we are going to create an Ethereum account and that particular Ethereum account is going to confirm the transactions because someone has to confirm the blocks because it is a proof of authority network. So we are going to create one account and we are going to make that account as a proof of authority account so that it can be able to mine the transactions. In this video, we are going to see how we can be able to create an Ethereum account and we are going to move that into the virtual machine. Now I'm going to create an Ethereum account. So I'll go to my browser there. I'll type my ether wallet. If you don't want to use this process, you can just type parity account new. You will get a new account with it. So go here and click on create a new wallet. So here I'm going to choose the option by key store file. So I'm going to give the password which we have given earlier in the video. So I'll type parity POA123 just to make sure that I'll just see and then click next. So it's going to generate one key store file. So we are going to name that key store file maybe something like node. So I'll just type node. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to move this file into the virtual machine. So I'll click save. Now go back to the virtual machine. Now what I'll do, I'll go to the virtual machine and I'm going to create a file name with this account name. So I'll just type sudo. Let me get back over there. So I'll go here and take the file name F2 and copy it completely. Control C, come back here, type sudo. Let me clear it first. sudo nano and paste it. So this is our node file, node account, Ethereum account. Just press enter. So here I'm going to copy the content which has been generated by Keystore. So I'll go back to the folder. There I have my node configuration. Just click on it. Don't make any changes here and it's not going to work at all if you make some changes. Just paste it and uh, just save it. Control X, Y and enter. Now let's see what are the folders we have it. LS hyphen LA. There you see. That's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to see how we can be able to set up our Genesis and node configuration files. See you in the next lecture.